One of my favorite foods this time of year is fresh corn on the cob. It's just so sweet and crunchy and juicy and absolutely delicious this time of the year. So when you're chopping for sweet corn on the cob, there's just a couple things to look at. You want to make sure that the um, husk is nice and green, that it's not dried up and turning brown, and that it feels a little bit heavy for its size because that means it's really nice and juicy. Now for years, I've prepared corn by peeling it, getting all the little silks off of it, putting it in a pot of water, covering it, and boiling it. That's how I've always done it. But this year, I've discovered a new way that is so easy and it's so delicious you don't even need that butter and salt that you normally put on it. So all you do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Then take your corn on the cob, and I like to pull off these dark brown silks that are hanging out of the top. And if you want, you can pull off these little leaves that are kind of sticking from the husks so that you don't have a lot sticking off the sides. And then you just take the ears of corn, they haven't been soaked, nothing's been done to them. Put them right on the rack in your oven. 350 degrees and set your timer for 30 minutes and after 30 minutes take the corn on the cob and I like to slip it out on a baking sheet because and it's really surprising I just took this out a couple minutes ago and it's not hot to the touch so you're thinking how could this possibly be ready to eat but it is and it's so easy to peel just take the ends and just like you'd peel any other time but look at how easy and look at the steam coming out. But the corn silk peels right off with the husk. Little bit is left on and it's ready to eat. And I like to just pull this down. You can pull it all the way off if you want, but I don't take time to do that. I just like to start eating. And I'm telling you, it is so delicious. You don't even need the butter and salt, but it's pretty good with it too. So I hope you'll give this a try. It's such an easy way to prepare corn on the cob. I'm Sue Doden, sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.